In this video, I would like to show you how you can discover the hidden pages that a website has. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Saad from CyberSudo. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So when you are conducting an OSINT investigation, you might find a website that belongs to a person, to a group or to a company. There are multiple ways that you can gather information from this website. And in this video, I would like to talk about one way to find all pages that a website has. Because sometimes you might be able to find information that are very valuable on pages that are not indexed by Google. So one of the methods to gather information about a website is by visiting the website and checking all the URLs that are in the website manually. The problem with this method is that this is going to take a lot of time. So what we can do alternatively is to use Google Docs to check what websites or what pages and files are indexed by Google. But the problem with this method is that the administrator of the website might have removed a certain page from Google or from any other search engine. So what we are going to do in this video is use a tool called GoBuster which will discover the hidden URLs, files and directories on a certain website. This way you might be able to find other pages that are not indexed by any search engine that might contain valuable information. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is to install the tool GoBuster on our Kali Linux. Now if you don't have Kali Linux as a virtual machine on your computer, what you can do is just go to YouTube and type install Kali Linux and you'll be able to find multiple videos on how you can do this. After you install your operating system or after you install Kali Linux as a virtual machine, you want to open the terminal as root and then you want to type the password. And the first thing we are going to do is to update the repositories. So I'm going to type apt update. This will make sure that we install the latest version of any tool in the future. The next thing we want to do is to install the tool GoBuster and installing it is very simple and easy. All you have to do is just to type apt install GoBuster and then hit enter. And in my case, it's already installed. So to use this tool, I'm going to type GoBuster and then minus H to see the help menu. And we can see that we can use the directory enumeration mode or the DNS subdomain enumeration mode or the fuzzing mode, etc. Now in this video, we are going to use the directory mode to find all the hidden directories and files on my website. So I'm gonna type go buster and then dir, which is the mode that we are going to use and then the URL of the website that I'm going to scan by adding minus U and then the full URL. And in my case, I'm going to scan my website. The next thing you want to do is to select a word list that is going to be used to brute force the directories and files on my website. So I'm going to say minus W and then add the full path where my word list is saved. Now, if you have Kali Linux, then you can go to user share word list and here you'll be able to find multiple word lists in my case i'm going to use a word list called common txt which is found in dir b and then it's called common txt so let me repeat the command gobuster is the name of the tool dir is the mode that we are going to be using and then i've added the full url including the https and then minus w to add a word list so I'm going to hit enter and this might take a while to find all folders that are on my website. And right now GoBuster is brute forcing the directories that are on my website using the comment.txt word list. All right, now let's have a look at the search results. First of all, we can see a directory called src and we can see the status code 307, which is a redirect to this website. Now, if you don't know what a status code is, all you have to do is just to go to Firefox and then just type the status code. So if we type 307 HTTP status code and then hit enter, we are going to see that this HTTP status code informs your browser that the requested content is temporarily located in another place. So this is basically a redirection. Let me come back 
here we can see that there's a directory or a page called blog so let me go to my website like this and then say slash blog and here we can see that we have a page called blog and here we have some blogs now if we went to the main page we can see that there isn't any page called blog so we cannot access this page without finding the full path of the blog and by the way if you are not subscribed to the newsletter i highly recommend you do so because each week you will receive real life awesome tips now let's come back here we can see that there is a page called index robots.txt and one called secret now i'm going to go to the one that's called secret hit enter and as you can see we were able to access a page that were not listed on this website at all another very important thing that you always need to check is the website sitemap because this will show you all the urls or all the pages that has to be indexed by google so let me go to this page and here we can see that we have four pages this is the main url of the website we have blog awesome mastery and a page called secret so this will save you a lot of navigation time because now you have all the pages that has to be indexed by Google. Another important file that you always need to check is the robot.txt. And this file will basically tell search engines which page should or should not appear on search engines. So this is how you can use GoBuster to find hidden URLs and directories on a certain website. Remember, this is very important when you are gathering information about website because you don't know what kind of information you might be able to find on a secret page. Now, if you would like to learn more about OSINT, make sure to subscribe to the newsletter to get weekly OSINT tips. And if you would like to get your OSINT skills to the next level, I'm currently working with Zaid Sabih from Z Security on the best OSINT course and it will be released very very soon so make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and to z security to get notified as soon as the course gets released